So the state of Kansas made history this past week. More than 100 high school girls competed in their first ever state wrestling championship. Jamie Yukas on their hard-fought victory. She's a country girl, no stranger to hard work. And nothing can keep her down. On the farm. If they're quick. Or anywhere else. Time. 18 year old Nikki Moore has been wrestling boys for years, one of five girls on the Nickerson High varsity squad. Go. She's an aggressive wrestler who once beat out a boy for a spot on the team. It makes you work harder when you get beat by a girl because people have the mentality that you shouldn't be getting beat by a girl. So does he thank you? I don't think he's ever thanked me for beating <laughs> him out, but we're cool now. <laughs> It's the kind of confidence and swagger that wasn't always there. Moore still remembers being bullied as a kid. I was really quiet. I kind of walked with my head down. I stayed by myself. Why? I didn't think I was good enough to be where I am today. Where she is today is number one in the state in her female weight class and third in the nation. A hopeful for the 2024 Olympics. Hey, how'd that feel? It felt pretty good. I'm excited. There you go. There you go. Her mother, Angel, is her biggest cheerleader. She says wrestling was a godsend. She's now top of her class. She just got signed to a college. Can you wish for anything more for your kid? A kid poised to take her first state title. I think I've shown that I deserve the one seat at state. That's only possible here in Kansas because of this father-daughter duo who went to the mat to give girls a sport of their own. It kind of takes a girl that's serious about wrestling to convince a coach that it's a worthy endeavor. Coach Doug Kretzer thought his daughter Maya would be a team manager, but she decided she wanted in on the action her freshman year. It was never easy, like competing and being on a team full of boys, like day and night, like you wrestle with these people, like. It's really like difficult. It would take four years for girls wrestling to become an official sport. Too late for Maya, but not for hundreds of others. Like Nickerson heavyweight Maddie Miller, who says wrestling gave her self-confidence. I don't think I would be such like an outgoing and a happy person like I am now if I didn't do wrestling. Miller walked into regionals undefeated. What is the strategy? I want to go get a state title as a freshman, like, let's go. I didn't have to look very far today to see a lot of girls with uh, big smiles on their faces and, and excited about their wins and heartbroken when they lost because they felt like they could have, they had a chance to compete. Do you wish you had been able to participate in something like this? It's my girls now. They can definitely go take the championship, so I definitely am just excited they can do that. Yeah. The Nickerson lightweight, now a state champ, paving the way for a new generation of girls. So you're all in with this. I am all in. Yes, I, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Good job. Jamie Yukas, CBS News, McPherson, Kansas. And a quick footnote, we can congratulate Nicole Moore as she won the state title for her weight class, which is just awesome.